they will have a negative DNA. But at first, I will call it two quarks, like rose quarks, then it changed to come to the some turquoises. There are many turquoises from different parts of the world, and I have some examples from China, Chinese, America, Arizona, Iranian one, and the darker one is from Turkey. Of course, Mexico has Indian has turquoises. According to others, Turkish turquoises famous with dark blue. And some can be called turquoise fluoxet, fluoxetis. And this one is the darker one, the special one, includes pyrite mineral. And here's the rich volcanic region. We have many minerals, so that stone stay underground stay underground, 60, 50 years later, it starts to oxidation. So that's the Turkish turquoises. And after a few years later, by the way of the oxidation, changed the green one. We called it antique turquoise. And each one has a special own color because when it starts to oxidation underground, they absorb a different mineral. So outside, if you put any area or if you carry on you touching, with the air, your skin is still alive, living with you, going to be darker green or darker blue. And it says semi-precious stones, best kind of semi-precious stones. And we have traditional design. That one is a special hand woven bracelet. And when the Turkish shade is going to marriage as a gift from the sun family. So this is traditional because only do it by hand and weaving like kilimo carpet, almost textile. It's the 900 carat silver, the woven part, and the buckle part is 925 carat silver. And the buckle part with the turquoise, with antique turquoise, different pattern that we have. This is the silver, but in the wedding party, traditional gold one. Both of them we have. And the other one, and that's just the starch pieces like that. As you see, very tiny. Lines. It's difficult. Take a one month to large sizes. Harem ring. When you go to Topkapu Palace in Istanbul, you can see huge collections like diamonds, rubies, emeralds, and that ring original design in there and with diamonds one. That one is the zirconium. We have diamonds one also. Sultan Suleiman make it for Roxana as a present. And she was Ukraine, come to Anatolia as a celeb. He saw the lady in the harem room. He followed in love her first to give ruby. In that time, they used precious stones for the special deepness meaning. Ruby means love, emerald means paradise, and pure love, diamond, and a sapphire means unto the die forever love. Then she made each separate ring in a one ring. Later, Sultan gave that ring to their wife in their harem room. So why we call it harem ring? But it has all necklace, earrings, all sets, and 18 karat of gold. Now, the most famous one is the stone zultanay. The mineral only west of the Turkey you find Mulamilas. West of the Turkey, the mineral all over the world, that stone is very famous. We call it zultanay because in Ottoman times, Sultan find they give their name. They use it as a natural. But that one is a natural one, doesn't change color. If you just say go fine, again, as you see, we find again that stone makes something different fines. In the laboratory, we cut cleaning and we put different under the heatmus, hot heatmus, heightness. And under the light, it's changing color because the color is inside cracked. But already that one is processed one. This is the natural one. Let's see how many colors is going to be under different lines. Surprise! <laughs> so one stone, it's going to be five colors. Sunlight, fluorescent light, daylight, night light. And it is a natural color, it's a green. So, sultanite, that one we called it.